you can find out who these uh, who these people in waiting to take places in this uh, government are. I wonder if there's some way of finding a list, because I know Congress was pretty upset when they found out about it. Well, from my understanding, all those places built with U.S. taxpayer dollars belong to the people of the United States. So at some point when we decide to, to get the balls and confront the people who have been murdering not only us, but people around the world, uh, I, I'd like to, you know, get in and see all those new toys that we've paid for and, you know, never been told about. I could see that as a real happy day in America when we can finally get these, you know, the tyrants out of here, the people who have been abusing their privileges, abusing their service, and, and misusing their trust. When we can take it back as Americans and, and stand up as adult citizens, wherein we don't need leaders to tell us what to do, we are educated and we think critically and we cooperate and communicate together, and we can act as a team without having a coach tell us what to do. Uh, absolutely. So, what are some simple steps people can do? Well, first you got to realize that what you're being told on TV is not even half or a quarter of the truth. Stop using the TV to inform yourself and to entertain yourself. You should find new independent media that gives you nutritious information, much like the show you're listening to right now or the 3,000 other ones that Maria has. And you should start reprioritizing your habitual time to intake information so you can come to equilibrium with what's going on in your society and in your culture and your state, you know, where, your community, however you want to look at it. And from there, you can take meaningful and constructive action, but you can't do that until you inform yourself because until you inform yourself, you do not have free choice. And that's what everyone has a hard time getting past. But once you get past the fact that unless you inform yourself and think critically, you don't have free choice, everything else is just a matter of paying attention and putting some energy into it. All right. Well, that's what I tell people. Just because you can't see the bars doesn't mean you're not in prison. <laughs> and we are. We're in a prison, you know, for our hearts and minds, let alone our bodies, but we just can't see the bars, and we don't really get it. Uh, and, and, you know, people really think that the superficial government that you see is actually the people that are actually running things, which is the hugest blind spot you could possibly have. Right. Right. You know, so it's, uh, it's hard to believe, you know, it's kind of like, uh, I think it was the last interview I did with Dave McGowan on the music of the 60s, and he said to me, you know, I had to realize, and I'm realizing every day, that everything in my life was a lie. None of it is real. And, you know, I started to laugh. I said, well, that'd make a good title of the book. Everything I've ever known is a lie. You mean it doesn't end with Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny? Oh, those are, those, those are like the pleasant lies. But, you know, some of my listeners even write in and they're like, wow, you know, I, now I, I question the music I'm listening to, I question the movies I've been watching, you know, never realizing before, because the blind spot was there, how much of it was indoctrination and propaganda. Right. And that's why... So this is scary awakening, but, you know, it, it's kind of like I said to my son, it's like, Mom, you get sick over the show, why do you have to keep doing it? And I said to him, if I didn't do what I do, would you expect me to live a flat line life like most people do and just pretend that everything is okay? I said, I do what I do because I enjoy what I do. It's the only part of my day that actually excites me. What? And I think that most people have forgotten that you have to love what you do. Otherwise, you're living for nothing. You're just in the, you know, you're in the prison. Going day to day to your, your, your prison labor job and coming home and getting the prison uh, propaganda on your TV and that's that. Well, it's just like in the Matrix where, you know, they offer sight for the steak. You know, he just wants the steak. He wants to just go back to that numb reality where even if he knows it's not real, you know, he, he enjoys it. And I think for you and me and everyone I know, if the steak would make us happy, we'd be eating the steak with the rest of the people. And what we're doing is what we know we have to do. We love that we're doing it right and, and getting it done, but we don't love that we have to do it. But this is what needs to be done. Right. I mean, we don't exactly relish in the struggle and like being tortured every day or hacked or whacked or attacked. Yeah, and I'm but, sure... You know, you just keep going. I say if they mess with you, then you know you're on the right track. You're doing something right. Yeah, you, you know, you go further. You don't back off because there's things that we'd all like to be doing right now. But because of the consequences of our apathy and the consequences of the people we trusted to, you know, act as our leaders, if you can even say that, 
Uh, you know, that has changed the situation, and we have to act like adults and deal with this now. Because it's only going to get worse, and it's it's a lot harder to fix later. Right now, we can fix... It always seems to get worse before it gets better, and I think we're far from as bad as it's going to be. Right. But hey, at least we can sleep at night. We know we're doing what we need to do. And I'm sure my subscribers and the people that support you feel the same way. At least, you know, if I don't have the time or whatever, I can help these people out. Uh, and just share the information. Because I think more Americans, like you said earlier, Lisa, people are starting to talk. I think they just need to release. Absolutely. How great if everybody would just tell somebody at the pump, you know, check out AidTheState.com or check out Maria.net because you're not alone. And I think it's getting over that feeling that you're the only one going through it or you're alone in this is, is a big step. Right. Well, and people thinking that there's nothing they can do, getting over right. that is a big step as well. And that just shows that there's all the potential and all the, you know, all the things that we want as Americans, those can all be reinstilled. They can be restored. They can be resurrected. But first, we have to act like Americans. We have to act like the people that we always think of as Americans. Land of the free, home of the brave. It's about time we started acting like it. Absolutely. Well said. Well, I think that's a, that's a, good, way to, a good way to end today's, uh, today's segment. So thank you, too. And uh, I guess we'll be on a different point of view again next month. Thanks for including me, Maria. <laughs> hey, it's a pleasure having you, Lisa. Thank you, everybody. Any words, Richard? Well, I just want to thank everyone for the time and attention, and I know that there are certain people to whom you know we're preaching to the choir. But the idea is to you know use some of what we said and uh, as a tool to go communicate with people who don't realize what's going on. Absolutely. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Maria. I can tell you about this just in to the CNN newsroom. It involves Senator Barack Obama and the longtime Senator Jay Rockefeller. He is the chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee. Battleship. A game you can play anywhere.